Hi, I'm Keith Cooper, No Flight Images, and uh, this is the Epson P900. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to do some comparisons between the P900 and the P700, um, because they're actually very similar. So what is the differences that might make a difference to whether you want one or the other? And, as if by magic, a P700 appears on top of the P900. Um, they really are very similar. Um, they both have the same basic ink set. There are 10 inks here, there are 10 inks in this one here. The cartridges are slightly different. Uh, they're the same physical format, but uh, these ones in the P700 take uh, 25 mil of ink. And in the P900, they take 50 mil of ink. Now that means that uh, these ones will run out quicker. You also, these ones have a lot less left in them after you've initialized the printer. So you will need new cartridges for the P700 before you need new ones for the 900. Both printers have the same tip-up screen. It's a touch screen, really good quality. Um, by the way, I've written detailed reviews and there are videos as well of both these printers. So I'm not going to go into the, the minutiae of what they do. So it's really about what the differences are between the two. Because um, people often ask me which is best. Um, now, normally I never do comparative reviews because best is something that means something different to every single person. I'm happy to answer questions about differences, but I never say this is best. In this case, however, they are so similar that uh, I'm prepared to break that rule and uh, say, you know, well, the 900's best. Um, why do I say the 900's best? It's really quite simple. I like big prints. That's an A3 Plus print, which is made on the 700. And that is an A2 print made on the P900. Um, that's significant difference between them is this one does 17 inch width, this one does 13 inch width. But there's a little bit more to it than that. As I'll just show. Put that back down, put that on. Both of these will take DVD printer. Both of them come with a spare maintenance cartridge. Um, when you replace the maintenance cartridge uh, and you replace it with the spare one, don't bother getting a spare. They last for absolutely ages. Both have a very similar design. For the print catching tray, they're similar at the back in design for the paper going in. You can feed paper in the back, you can feed it here. They also both support roll paper, which is a more of a difference between them. But if you're looking at it front on here, they look fairly similar. Let's turn them round. To get an idea of the view from the back. Well, it's, it's very similar, both of them have a flap at the back. Now on the Pro 700, this will come out, and this is actually a roll paper holder. This takes 13 inch roll paper. Unfortunately, you don't find much of a range of papers available in 13 inches. Uh, this takes 17 inch paper, there's a much wider range of papers, canvas, etc. that go with this. However, if you want to use roll paper for the 900, you need this thing. And this is the optional roll paper adapter. Uh, this is not standard. It's very easy to fit. There we go, I fitted it. So, roll paper roll paper. Let's just push the fronts in again. And turn it round. Now here does come a difference between the two of them. 
Both of them have a front feed, which if it takes paper or board in, comes out the back. In the back here, this one for an A2 sheet, comes out to about here. So you don't really want this that close to the wall if you're going to load sheets via the front. Similarly, stuff comes out of the back of the 700, but it only comes out to about here because it's a smaller sheet size. Remember, this one will do up to A2, this one will do A3+. This 13 inch by 19 inch is A3+. Uh, this A2 is a bit under 17 inch. The actual carriage width maximum is 17 inches on this. So there is the difference between the two of them. Um, it's about size really. From a print quality point of view, let's just move them both around. From a print point quality point of view, there's no difference. One of the reasons I can say that with quite good authority is that the ICC profiles for the 700 are the same ICC profiles as you use for the 900. They use the same inks, they have the same print head, so there's no real difference there. So what are the main differences? Size. It's about what you want to print and how much ink they take. Unfortunately, you can't put bigger carts in the 700 or smaller carts in the 900. You're stuck with it, 25 mil, 50 mil. So if you've got the space for it, particularly if you don't need roll paper support, then there's very little difference between the two. Allow for the ink costs, I'd happily go for this one. This is a nice printer, I'd have no problem with using it. It's just, as I've said, I like big prints. Some examples. Now, any print that I show here, that's an A2 print, that A2 print gives you a rough size for the 900 underneath, you could re reproduce at a smaller size perfectly well on the 700. So there's one done on a fairly thick art paper. Now there's a video about making this one as well if you're curious. And here's a print on a luster paper. So the question is, which is best? Well, have a read of the detailed reviews, both the videos and the uh, written reviews, and there are other articles going on about these. Um, personally, I'd pick this one any day. The price difference is not that much. You get more ink, you get the opportunity to print larger pictures. And I can assure you that if you've never printed large pictures before and your images are up to it, then large prints look really great. Anyway, um, that's my dalliance into making comparative reviews between things. I won't be doing comparative reviews between different makes of printers and things like that. As I say, I'm happy to answer questions, email me or whatever, but uh, there is no such thing as best. Not a universal best. There's best for me, there's best for you. Whether they're the same is a different matter. Anyway, hope that's been of some help. Uh, do enjoy the other content I've written regarding these. There's a lot of detail, so thanks very much. Bye.